Hello, I hope that this recording finds you safe and well. My name is Marta Hidakuti and I'm going to be teaching this class. This is a uh, Math 207 BC Calculus 1 taught remotely. Calculus is not a difficult course. Students who fail calculus fail the course not because of the ideas or skills in in calculus, but because of the deficiencies of the prerequisite skills. Everything that you have studied in mathematics until this point will be directly necessary in this course. On day one, we're going to start with calculus topics, yet at the same time, during the first few weeks, we're going to review the prerequisite skills. What are the prerequisite skills? What I will call simply Algebra 1, is beginning algebra or introductory algebra at Truman College, that's Math 98. Then what I will call Algebra 2 and Truman course Math 99 is intermediate algebra. Then there is college algebra, Math 140 here, and trigonometry, uh, Math 141 at Truman College. So these are four prerequisite classes and you would be surprised to see how many times issues that do come up in calculus actually boil down to issues from from algebra one so so let's get this review out of the way i would like to point out three documents to you number one on the my open math website it is already posted it's titled, Are You Ready for Calculus? So here is what I thought. During the first week, students should review all material from Algebra 1 and Algebra 2. On this sheet, Are You Ready for Calculus? Those are problems number 1 through 7. So that's for week 1. For the second week, students should review all college algebra topics on the handout, are you ready for calculus? Those would be problem number eight through 29. And then the rest, which should be the third week's review material, number 30 to 33 would be trigonometry. This worksheet, are you ready for calculus? Is basically leading you through prerequisite courses. So I would start working these problems uh, the answers are also posted so you can check your work so what to do if you get in trouble with some material so for that there is the second document on my open math if you go to this document titled map of topics it, it is basically just a collection of links towards um, the most important uh, topics within these prerequisite courses and they are color coded. The links in red are the links in red are trigonometry topics. The purple are college algebra. The blue intermediate algebra, and the green ones beginning algebra. So these would be like the absolute essential part of these four courses. But as I said, just about everything that you learn there will directly apply here, because if it doesn't directly apply here, we would have taken it out long time ago. Okay. Now, what is the third document? The third document, I didn't post it on, uh, on a MyOpen uh, website, but rather I left a link there because this is a document I update regularly. It is titled YouTube Problems. And if you, and if you click on there, you see just, uh, this is another worksheet broken down by courses. So first pre-algebra, then algebra one, there it is. Uh, introductory algebra or algebra one and then intermediate algebra as I call it algebra two and then college algebra oh, this is a different one college algebra and then finally trigonometry uh, notice that it's kind of weak on the college algebra and the trigonometry and unfortunately that's not that's probably not gonna change however <clears throat> this worksheet is different because instead of the answers they come with links to YouTube pages where the exact same problem is worked out by yours truly. Uh, let's see, we're gonna fix something like this. So you click on it and then there is the YouTube video. This is, this is kind of a longish one, this is five minutes. 
Uh, usually they're shorter than that. So these are the resources that I put up on the, on the My Open Math course, but that's not all I have. If you feel that, if you feel that you need more, um, more resources, or if you have a specific topic in mind, just shoot me an email, but because I can get you those resources very quickly. I want to I wanna save you time. Don't spend time searching on the internet. There are lots of good things, but they're covered up by lots of not so good things. It takes me seconds to find those things. So if you're in trouble with the topic and you need resources, just shoot me an email. It, it is really a much more effective use of both of our times. So this is what I would say. Any questions about the review? Okay, so week one, algebra one and two, week two, college algebra, week three, trigonometry. You can go faster, just not slower. And, and just one more comment before we move on. The fact that we are working remote might just be beneficial in this, um, in this particular instance because it is usually difficult to start at a calculus course because students vary widely by how much review they need and how fast they uh, move through the reviews. So this remote format allows students to move through the review at their own pace. Okay. So I assume there is no questions about the review. So then let's get on to the calculus stuff that we're gonna, that as I said, we're gonna start on day one. Thank you for watching.